everybody welcome back to my channel extra rice with coco thank you coco just for joining me if you are new to my channel welcome i love you if you could go ahead and bless me by subscribing to my channel bring that bell for notifications comment like and share got that out i have my chris white shirt on with my ring around the collar sweat because i was cooking today and my white hat so all white everything let's get into this so today i mean look oh I gotta give y'all a close look. Look at this. This all vegan right here. All vegan. Okay? Baked spaghetti squash. I, I then put in, I had made a, a big batch of my uh, creamy marinara that I made with oat milk and put that together. Then I put um, one piece of vegan sausage. I think it was field roast roll sausage and this is Daya vegan Swiss cheese that I put on top all vegan let's go I'm gonna dig into this one because it's nicer looking and boom got some lemonade it's been a hot week this week so I was like when I was cooking in the kitchen, it was so hot, just blaze hot. So let's see how this is. Hmm, get this a little closer. Okay. Y'all, I mean, this cheese isn't really like, vegan cheese isn't good to melt with, but it is what it is. Yo, I'm gonna give y'all first bite because look at this. You know what? The cheese, although it doesn't look good, it's pretty good together. Maybe I should have used like a, um, a vegan mozzarella or whatever. Hmm. cheese so I'm not going completely vegan I just want to incorporate some more healthier options for myself instead of meat laden fat laden dishes so I'm gonna call myself semi vegan. <laughs> I do appreciate all the vegan products though, they're really good. I don't wanna have too many processed products anyway, but hey, some things are better than others. my first time making spaghetti squash. And you know what? Won't be the last. Look at that. I'm trying to get some cheese on it. Mm. 
it doesn't necessarily satisfy that pasta craving, but it's still good. How many of y'all have had this? Have had this spaghetti squash like this? I can't believe this is my first time ever trying this. It's really good like this. Really good. I just love how this does this. This, like the squash comes out and it's like perfectly noodles. Mmm. Mmm. This is so filling too. I wouldn't think this would be so filling like this. Mm. So you guys, I'm waiting on some good news. I'm just waiting on, waiting on to hear it. So, cheer me on wish me luck hopefully you know i've been praying on it that um god aligns me and puts me in the right space at the right time so wish me luck and hopefully i have some good news to tell you but anyway just the fact that look i'm like jumping the gun just the fact that i've had this bout of change and i'm shifting a lot of how I'm, my thought process is with certain things is a win in itself so I'm just proud of myself that for doing that and hopefully you know what I have in the works comes to fruition um I am the type of person that I don't like to um say it right off the bat like I like to keep certain things for myself and let the universe take care of it I wholeheartedly uh come from that school so I will let the universe align me with this and then when it happens hopefully I have some good news for you guys but otherwise like well, excuse me I'm just really happy that I put myself out there for this opportunity for change um there's actually several things so that's why I don't really want to go into like this that this but um wish me luck and hopefully I'll have some good news for you guys um a lot of a lot of good things to come um, you know, it's been definitely up and down, especially with the pandemic on like how I'm navigating, um, and how I'm moving forward in life period. I mean, cause certain things are out of my control, but my outlook and my self-preservation is like one of the things that I can hold on to that I actually have control over. So I am not relinquishing that. I'm, I'm taking note of that and making sure that I'm being the best possible me and preserving the best possible me so that I can show everyone else and be able to receive everything that I'm, I'm meant to receive. Because I'm, I'm a person of thought that I don't want to block my blessings. Um, and if you're in a negative state, then you're going to block your blessings. It's just, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's going to happen. So you want to make sure that you are preparing yourself and you're staying aligned to be able to receive everything. So, no fingers crossed. God, universe, please align me. Please make the right path for me and guide me to the best one. In your name I pray. Amen.
this Daya Swiss style cheese is really not bad. Melt, semi melted. It's pretty creamy. Mmm. Mm. I really can't believe I haven't had spaghetti squash before. And I didn't put any oil on top of it. I just put salt and pepper. I want it to be as healthy as possible. Mmm. So good. I can't believe how good this is. Oh my god. It's so filling. Just so you have a cost perspective, this huge um spaghetti sauce was five dollars. And I think that's relatively inexpensive. So if you're like doing costs, I mean, this whole meal, and this is like two portions, probably more. Um, let me do the math real quick. Five dollars, nine dollars, ten dollars, This is probably like, if I'm gonna average out, three dollars and 75 cents to a four dollars a serving not bad because you know that if you were to go to a vegan restaurant and get this some vegan restaurants charge like for this would be like a main course and they give you half the portion of what i'm eating right now that's like right here and it would be like 18 dollars. so winning I'm a person like I try to cook as I've been trying to cook at home as much as possible I do like certain fast food I'm not gonna lie I'm human but I can't control what I'm putting in my body at that point so I know that that's a splurge but if I can have control over what I'm putting in my body I'm gonna do it I'm gonna cook my own food it's just better I just know what fats I'm putting in I know how I'm cooking it the way I'm cooking it, you know? I'm not adding extra salt, extra sugars, extra fats of, you know? I come from the school of, like, you can always add salt and don't make stuff more saltier than it should be because then you're ruining it. Waste of time, shouldn't do it. So, yeah, I mean, I hope everyone's doing well and, you know, um, I know that they're, talking about you know i don't know maybe a lot of people have been speculating another lockdown i know things are like there's spike in coronavirus is is a big issue because certain countries in europe have already done a second lockdown and you know that what's going to happen you know it's, it's probably going to trickle to its here so you just want to stay safe um i actually did something today that i've never done um i walked out of my apartment without a mask. I went to the grocery store and I didn't have a mask on. And one of the grocery store workers kept like signaling to his mouth. And, and I was talking on the phone to a friend and I was so out of it. And I was like, oh my goodness, I don't have my mask on. I've never done that. It was like one of the first times where I didn't walk out the house. I was like, oh my God. So thank God, uh, you know, that they didn't yell at me and they were really nice and they gave me a mask. Um, I really did appreciate that. Um, I was like totally in in my zone. I don't know why I didn't have a mask on. So wear your mask, people. Um, luckily that there are people out there, uh, especially here, where if you don't have a mask, they'll give you one. So thank God for them. Um, I'm very appreciative of that. I'm very appreciative that, you know, people are taking the precautions and that um, they're, you know, allowing people you know, 
they're not yelling at people for th these kinds of things because you know I'm I'm pretty um safe and I like to think that you know I'm ca as cautious as possible but you know we're all human we make mistakes even I had a mistake so you know thank God for these um employees that are really you know looking out for other people too it's a beautiful thing you know it's just like you don't just think about yourself like help other people so you know I'm so glad that that happened to me well you guys I showed you another semi-vegan recipe well this is completely vegan but this is you know that I should like tell my channel this is the semi-vegan the semi-vegan anyway um uh, thank you for joining me for another um video coconut if you enjoyed this video and you're new to my channel i really would appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel support me um it's ever growing um my channel really um hasn't been growing as rapidly as i thought it would um but you know i'm one of those people i'm not going to do things for myself that i don't feel is authentic and organic to me I'm not going to do trends. I'm not a trends person. I'm not a challenge person. Um, if that's what you're looking for, I mean, this isn't the channel for you. I may do it once in a while, but generally, no. I have to feel, I'm, the, I'm totally that person. I have to feel like it's in my spirit to do something. I don't co-sign things. I don't do that whole sub for sub um i know a lot of people do that and i know i know a lot of people do certain things to get ahead um and i don't do that and i won't do that because i don't feel like it's organic to me so if my channel moves a little slower and it doesn't grow the way that i want to um it's okay because i'm still being authentically me and that's what I care about. I care about bringing the best and most authentic me possible to this platform. And again, I'm so appreciative of my followers. I'm so appreciative to anybody that watches these videos that just gets a little bit of information or anything. I know it's just an eating video, um, but I'm one of the very few people that I cook most of my food. Uh, a good majority of the food that you are going to see from me is is made by my hands. Occasionally, I will have something that I don't make, but the majority of the food is made by me, and I take great pride in that. Um, and I take great pride in the fact that I'm able to share that with other people. So thank you for allowing me to share that, and thank you for watching my videos. And until next time, coconuts, we'll meet again.